Which stopgap submarine should the Royal Australian Navy build or buy off the shelf? Comment below and let us know your opinion on Australia's stopgap submarine. Australia only has one option left, a group of former senior Navy personnel say, to build conventional submarines while waiting for the nuclear-powered program to begin. Experts at Global Defence Corp are concerned about the capability gap as the existing Collins-class fleet starts to retire before the new submarines arrive. The Defence Minister, Richard Marleys, says that dealing with that gap is his top priority, and he has an open mind on how to do it. Experts at Global Defence Corp believe the Australian government should consider short-term leasing nuclear-powered submarines from the US leasing Virginia-class submarines from America could be a stopgap solution until Australia takes delivery of its nuclear-powered submarine, potentially in the 2040s. Admiral Peter Briggs, former head of the Navy's submarine capability team, said that a new boat, designed by Sweden's Saab Kockums and built in Australia, could be in the water by 2032. The first nuclear-powered submarines being planned under the AUKUS agreement is unlikely to be operational before 2040, leaving Australia with a capability gap as the aging Collins class reached the end of their useful life. A 26 Blecking class submarine or evolved Collins class Powered by Air Independent Propulsion AIP, system, the A26 Blecking class submarine or evolved Collins class could use a battery or diesel engines, providing necessary stealth capability when submerged. AIP submarines keep the batteries for when they need speed but can cruise on the AIP. The Evolved Collins class can also take advantage of the man-unmanned teaming concept from crewed submarines and autonomous extra-large unmanned undersea vehicle. Building interim conventional submarines will ensure enough submariners will be adequately trained to staff them. There have long been concerns about a submariner shortage and the difficulties in recruiting enough for an expanded force. A 26 and Collins are not identical submarines, but their technologies are interchangeable, which will make it easy for Australia Submarine Corporation to build a submarine. Type 212CD Submarine The Type 212CD submarine benefits from a high-speed diesel engine and an air-independent propulsion AIP, system powered by hydrogen fuel cells for slower, silent cruising. As submarines have become much quieter, the effectiveness of passive sonar has decreased. Therefore, being invisible to active sonar can provide a tactical advantage. The Type 212 CD takes stealth to the next level. The flat sloping sides are the primary way it reduces its sonar signature, known as the target echo strength. S-80 Plus Class Submarine The S-80 submarine is powered by three bioethanol engines, a 3,500 kW main electric engine, and a 300 kW atmosphere-independent propulsion system. The S-80 Plus class submarines are 81.05 meters long and have a submerged displacement of 3,200 tons. Featuring stealth capabilities, the submarine will be equipped with an integrated combat system and platform control system developed by Navantia Sistemas. Recommendations The Evolved Collins class submarine can be armed with a heavyweight torpedo, UGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile, UGM-109 Tomahawk land attack cruise missile and SAS seabed mines. Time is tight, and there is now only one option. Australia needs a lead-in submarine platform that meets Australia's circumstances, requirements and regulations. A modernised Collins is the best fit, with world-class sonars and combat systems, and will not be a new design or a different class to the existing fleet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.